this will come out because we need a sound. Okay. I made it. I've been here a while. You made it. Good morning. Happy New Year, everyone, and thank you for gathering with us as we welcome Bishop Kopaz this morning. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you. We have just one announcement. Morning Mass for tomorrow will be celebrated at 8 o'clock. Our opening hymn is number 198, Immaculate Mary, number 198. Please stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim, on earth we your children Invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our mother, the church of In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. What a New Year's gift for me to be here with you to celebrate. And I thank Father Brian in our conversations to make this happen, to celebrate our life in the Lord at the beginning of this new year, to ask God's blessing, and to celebrate our Blessed Mother on this special feast day of Mary, the Mother of God. So great to be with you in this magnificent facility, transformed um, in these years leading to this uh, moment of great celebration to have Most Holy Trinity Church. So let us prepare worthily to celebrate these sacred mysteries, calling to mind our sins, knowing God's great mercy. Lord Jesus, Son of Mary, 
You taught us to call God our Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, Son of Mary, you are our Savior and brother. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Son of Mary, you give us Mary as our mother. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. God Almighty Father, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A 
reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly, look upon you kindly, and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Such a joy to be here and to celebrate the liturgy, the Eucharist, with such an entourage up here in the sanctuary. Somebody's going to get hurt bumping into one another. <laughs> but good to be with you, brothers and sisters, as we come together. And, you know, in my time, it's nine years ago, we had the three churches and I could pretty much tell where each of you sat every week, right? In fact, a few times I'd get a, a request maybe for a letter of recommendation. And you may not remember me, and I'd write back and say, I could tell you where you sat every week and what order your family sat. This is different. This is a whole new experience, so I don't know where you all sit or not sit. But... It's a beautiful environment, beautiful church for uh, coming together in, in worship and praise like the shepherds we hear in the gospel. They left seeing the infant Lord glorifying and praising God. And so we come together in that spirit during these Christmas days on this great feast of Mary, the mother of God, to praise and, and give glory to God. In the gospel, really we have the heart of our faith. Mary, of course, for us, is representing the church. She's holding the Christ child, cherishing the Christ child, looking upon the glory of God on the face of her son, Jesus. And she's treasuring all these things in her heart. And at the beginning of a new year, we're called to likewise do the same. As we look back over the previous year, there are certain elements I'm sure that we want to leave in, in the past and, and move forward, but we are carrying forward all of who we are and all of the events, and we pray we can do so with gratitude. Even the struggles, that these are part of our lives and the Lord is with us always, Emmanuel. And we look forward to the future with hope, treasuring the gift of faith, the presence of the Lord in our lives. This weekend, as you may know, Pope Benedict died. 
uh, yesterday morning in the middle of the night, I believe. And Pope Benedict, truly like these shepherds that we hear of, was a good shepherd who loved the Lord, who loved the, the liturgy, the Eucharist, and who treasured the tradition of the faith in his heart and wrote profoundly and extensively on this tradition. He's a great uh, model for us also when we consider the gift of our faith and the beauty of our tradition, the teachings of the church. But as Pope Benedict would say, yes, all of that treasure is very important, but at the heart of it is the Lord and the encounter we have with him, the love we have for him, and the experience of the good shepherds in the gospel today that we go out and live this. We proclaim this joy. We proclaim really the, the good news, the gospel that the angels proclaimed on that Christmas night to the shepherds, and we can see it unfolding. We also know that the image of the shepherd is, is powerful in the time of our Lord. He used that in John's gospel. I am the good shepherd. Not everyone's a good shepherd, but I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd is one who's willing to lay down their lives for the sheep. And ultimately, the Lord did exactly that for us, laying down his life that we may be here together, that he is with us, we are his body, and we proclaim this good news in our lives. So we, we come together in, again, uh, a beautiful time of year in the heart of the Easter season. We, like the shepherds, like the Magi next week, and all who come to the Lord, we worship and give glory to God. We announce this good news, and we live it in our daily lives. And then, in that spirit, we, we truly bring the message of the gospel to so many in need in our world. As we know, we've, we've come through a lot as a nation, and we're still struggling to find that common ground in, in unity. And over and over again, we as the body of Christ can hear the good news and bring a greater measure of hope, of goodwill, of goodness into our daily lives and, and into our nation. That's the heart of the Christmas season. I've come to bring good news to the poor and to, again, be the living presence of that. At the end of Mass, we'll have the blessing from the first reading, which is Moses blessing the Israelites as they're leaving the promised land and going, or leaving the desert into the promised land. And he offers that wonderful blessing that we heard in the first reading, may the Lord bless you and keep you. We certainly ask God's blessing upon all of us as we come together uh, this morning. After communion, I'll share a little bit with about Mississippi. Not too much, you know. But, you know, you may have heard that we have water troubles in Jackson. We got other troubles too, but we also have a great deal of uh, life and uh, goodness and people working very hard for the well-being of others, but it, it is so good to be here with you. I saw a number of people before Mass and uh, continue to be with you through this morning uh, into the afternoon. So again, uh, God bless you, and for those who are known to me and those who are not, because over nine years there's always much change, we come together again as the Lord's people. We look to Mary, our mother, treasuring this great gift that we have in our Lord Jesus, in her Son, and in God's only Son. Confess our faith. I believe in one God, 
God of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and the kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day, when we commemorate the divine motherhood of Mary, we unite our prayers to those of Our Lady and implore the Heavenly Father to look favorably upon our petitions. For the church, that in this new year it may glorify and proclaim the good news of the Son of God with the joy and amazement of the shepherds when they first learned the message of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations work to silence the drums of war in the Middle East and the Balkans and especially take action to end the war and establish the lasting peace in the Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all women, especially mothers, that in imitation of Our Lady, they may bear witness to the dignity and sanctity of human life at all stages. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the renewal of our parish family, that by contemplating Mary, the Holy Mother of God, we may learn to follow her perfect faith and express ourselves daily in generous service to our neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, that as he was called to lead the church in this life, he may now receive from the Father in heaven the reward of eternal life, and that together with the saints in heaven, he will inspire in all people an eager response to the love of God in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, especially for Tim Trembo, for whom this Mass is offered, may they be come to share in the fullness of life with the, with the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, who are our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer to you our prayers in union with those of the Virgin Mary, who bore the eternal word of God in her chaste womb. Hear and answer them in your love and wisdom, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we prepare our gifts and table, please join in singing number 702, On This Day, O Beautiful Mother, number 702. Day, so oh beautiful mother, on, on this film. day we give thee our love. Near thee, Madonna, fondly we hover, trusting thy gentle care to This day we ask to share, dearest mother, thy sweet care. Aid us, seraphim. 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your church, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the Mother of God. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember your servants, Lord, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal and living and true. Celebrating that most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for the world, and in communion with those who mem whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and accounted among those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and to approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with the serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who through you, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen through whom you continue to make us all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the joyful hope and the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Al. God bless. Bergs, peace be with you. Thanks, John. Peace be with you, Ron. Thank you. Brian, thank you. Peace be with you. Peace with you, Jose. God bless you. Thank you. Peace be with you. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 84, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 84. Oh, 
Celsius day, oh, Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? Say what may the tidings be which inspire your heavenly song?
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Please be seated, and before Bishop Copes says a few words, I just want to thank so many who helped to make this such a wonderful celebration, beginning with those who organized the reception. So Bishop Copes said, I will make sure that I'm there before the 8 o'clock Mass is finished. I thought, well, you know, we went pretty quick this morning, but he was here when we walked out. I asked if there was a bishop sighting, and they said, yes, we have one here. So we're very happy to have that, and that worked out well. So, but they did a wonderful job preparing the reception, and to thank him to thank all of you, to thank the Knights of Columbus, so many people, the music, just so much makes it so special. It isn't just the church building in this particular case, that has a lot to do with it, I have to say. So many people made it look so beautiful, but to have so many gathered, and I know myself being here for about a year, to have such a friendly welcome that it's been wonderful, and I know Bishop Cope has kind of started a lot of this and was here when the ball first got rolling. So I want to thank him once again for being here to celebrate. Thank you, Bishop Cope. It dawned on me during the Mass, the last time I was in this space, this facility for a formal occasion, was when we had a volunteer gathering on the Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend in 2013. And part of that volunteer week, weekend gathering was to show potential plans for the new church. So we had a PowerPoint and we're showing, might be out there on the first baseball field, could be out there in front of the building, maybe between the building and the former convent. Well, none of that came into play, you know, so. <laughs> God has a strange sense of humor with that, you know, but, but it really spoke to how many people had the great desire to make this happen. The final product uh, may be in the mind of God, but really this uh, is so beautiful here. It's, it's just overwhelming uh, what has happened and, and to create really a church and to carry forward so many of the rich uh, pieces from the former churches, St. Anne's and St. Mary's and St. Bernadette's, and also the villa, which happened uh, after I had left how often the villa was used, and then the villa uh, in its closing, uh, part, part of their legacy is also here, and of course the school uh, for many years. So it's, it's really a uh, a coming together of so many people and uh, so many uh, resources and all that that make this possible. So I'm just grateful again to be here to celebrate with you in the heart of the Christmas season. And so you can see after nine years, I still don't have a southern drawl, right? <laughs> it's hopeless. You know, I have the expressions down, but not the drawl naturally, you know? And, but I do come back and I'll say to people up here, I'll say, y'all talk funny up here, you know? <laughs> but what's the difference between the Poconos and this Northeast region and the Deep South? A great example, a little humorous story. You know, you rent a car down in the South or you get something, a lot of times people will say, bless your heart, will you have a good day, right? So I'm returning the car to the airport in Newark. <laughs> Need I go any further, right? <laughs> I pull in, it's a tight space, blah, blah, blah. What the bleak of the bleak is the matter with you? Get this car over here. <laughs> you know, you just get your license out of a Cracker Jack box. What's wrong with you? Welcome home. <laughs> it was like music to my ears, you know? But again, each, each part of our country, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and, you know, sometimes we only get the headlines 
And, you know, that really doesn't tell the story. And it, real, it never tells the story fully. It's just a little bit of information. But it's been a joy to be in Mississippi for the nine years. I was here seven and a half years working with the three churches to come to the point where we were one parish, and then from there to this final goal. But each parish family, the diocese in Jackson and Mississippi is 65 counties, 38,000 square miles. We're spread out over most of the state, but we don't have to deal with snow most of the time, so that's, that's an easier thing. But again, people of faith, we're smaller. It's definitely a mission diocese in the percentage of Catholics, um, but uh, much dynamic ministry and many dedicated people. And, you know, we struggle as every diocese and parish does, and that is to take the message of the shepherds and evangelize and invite others to be part of our community of faith and our life in Christ. So that's, that's always our, our challenge. And it's great to be here with um, the priests and deacons and everyone. But at the altar, I, you know, Monsignor Bergamo was on the seminary faculty when I was a seminarian <laughs> back in 1969, right? 69 to when I was in college to 72 and Monsignor Bergamo always you know there always dedicated and continues uh, as he's in retirement here a great presence in Monroe County and our deacons uh, wonderful that that great class of 2015 was it uh, three of the four are here and our servers and again as Father Clark said you know, all who have made this liturgy possible and all who are so dedicated week in and week out. So, again, uh, very much a blessing, and thank you, Father Brian, for your uh, graciousness and, you know, hospitality, and uh, it really, it's such a pleasure. So i see some of you after Mass, and uh, hopefully it won't be nine years again. I kid people, I'm, retirement is right around the corner. It's like a a year and a day. You never know when that day is going to be. <laughs> but it'll be a few years. But I, I have two parish families here in the diocese, here especially, and down in Jackson, Mississippi, so I won't be bored, you know, <laughs> giving time in each place, but not having to worry about, you know, administration and all of that. So that will come in a few years. But it's so good to be here and realize how fast time passes. And, uh, you know, I know much has happened. There's been much loss in nine years in my own life uh, and in some of your lives. And it's just, but yet there are many blessings. And we go forward uh, with the Lord and into this new year. So thank you for your prayers and your uh, presence and your warm heartedness also. God bless you. I was going to say, yeah, we forgot Deacon Ron. He's been here forever, you know. <laughs> He's not one of the class of 2015. <laughs> he, he, he's the class of Abraham. <laughs> okay. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. 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 May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. And may he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing song of mission is number 533, Let There Be Peace on Earth, number 533. Let 
Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, and peace that was meant to be with God as our Father. Brothers all are we. Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin.